So essential oils are the oils that come from different leaves, trees, flowers, barks, um, what else? In like uh, plants, basically. Any type of herbs, any type of thing that you can see in nature that grows, it's the oil that comes from that. And what you can get from it is aromatherapy. That's one of the number one things that you can get from oils that are in essential oils. So, sorry, that's my Keurig over there. Yeah, I gotta get this tea going. Um, anywho, essential oils, what they do is they take all these flowers, whatever, they put it through a distiller and um, they extract all the oils from it. So there's a certain amount, I'm gonna put it down here, but I read somewhere there's like pounds upon pounds of flowers like for to make lavender they take pounds of this flower let me, you know let me just look it up that's crazy so that's why some oils they might seem like oh that's kind of expensive but you know you're it takes a lot of flour a lot of actual matter or organic matter to create these oils these oils are very very potent extremely potent that's why you cannot put this directly on your skin it, it will irritate your skin it's not good at all for your skin um so but there's ways you can use this so you can put it on your skin so anywho um the most popular one that i've come across is lavender of course you find it in different um everything you find it in lotions and baby lotions you find it in soaps in candles uh certain teas i got some lavender tea right here this tea is so freaking good you all oh, so good um but you find it in so many things and the whole premise behind using these oils is that they have aroma therapeutic uh, effects on us so basically it's exactly what it sounds the aroma of these oils are therapeutic they can um relieve tension depression they can uplift you they can ground you similar to how we use crystals right similar to how we eat certain things and certain foods affect our body in certain ways you know, if you eat some mashed potatoes, it's going to be comforting and warm and uh, versus you eat a salad, you're going to be all uplifted and ready to go out and run, you know? So there's certain things out in nature that actually correlate to how we want to feel and what we need to heal within our bodies. That's why, y'all, you got to get connected with nature, y'all. Like, this is, like, you just got to get connected. But anywho, um, that's the whole premise behind using essential oils. So... Let's get into where you can find them and some things to think about when you're buying your essential oils. Now, since they have become super popular, you can pretty much find essential oils anywhere. I think they probably have them at Walgreens. Uh, I found some at Marshalls. I got a good deal on some essential oils. I got, uh, it was like a two pack of oils. I got them for like $3. And what you wanna look for when you're buying essential oils, you want it to say pure, therapeutic essential oil or 100% essential oil or 100% pure uh, essential oil um, or exactly essential oil. So this says 100% pure essential oil. This one says 100% pure essential oil. This one says uh, essential oil from aromatherapy. Now I don't know if this is um, actually, yeah, this looks like this is legit. But when you get something like this, of course I can't find it now. Where the heck is it? Oh. Something like this, where it says scented oil, that is my friend, not an essential oil. It is not, I repeat, it is not an essential oil. And one of the biggest indicators you're gonna find is the price. Now, like I told you all at Marshall's, looking at the label, I knew it was legit. Um, and they just had it on clearance. But this jasmine oil is very expensive. Um, I mean, not crazy expensive, but let me just look it up and tell you all like a difference. So this is one ounce. I'm gonna look up one ounce of jasmine oil. So this oil, on Rocky Mountain oils, which have I, I've gotten some oils from there before. They have this jasmine oil for $80.95. This scented jasmine oil, I, the label is a little faded because I've had this for a while, is $7.99. Honey, this is not real oil, but I still use it purely for aromatherapy. So, 
I use it for the scent and it smells so potent. Oh my gosh, it lasts so long. It's beautiful. I love jasmine tea, jasmine oil. I love the smell of jasmine and the, the, I just love it. The taste and everything. But I would not use this on my skin. So that's something to look out for. Make sure you're getting actual oils. It might say scented oils. It might say fragrance oils. But if it's essential oils, it will say essential oil. So keep that in mind. Um, typically the oils, they come with this dropper. They come with a dropper and can't, I don't know if you all can see that. It's like kind of weird. But anywho, it comes with this dropper and that's how you get drops of the oil out. You want to make sure you have your top on well. If it's legit, if it's a legit oil, it will typically be in this type of, most of the oils, whether it's a fragrance oil though, you see it's going to be in this amber like uh, jars you want to make sure you keep them in these jars because you don't want them to get exposed to the light because it, it will um, actually start to deteriorate the actual oil okay all right so that's that make sure you're looking at your labels make sure they're legit so I've gotten them from like I said Rose Mountain oils before Marshall's I've seen them at Whole Foods um, I when I used to make soy candles I got them from new aromatics uh yeah new direction aromatics i'll put the link in the description box it's not sponsored but i got them for, i got all of my oils when i first started using essential oils over a decade ago from that website i love if they still do it the same way i love the way they package them to send them to you they legit like wrap them really well so they don't break they're not all over the place like they that's a good company um and you can get other items too like shea butter and carrier oils and things like that um, different soy waxes, containers, if you wanna sell stuff, you wanna make your own products, you can buy a lot of stuff from them in bulk. And that's a good company. They have a really nice website. So I would definitely vouch for them. So that's that. Um, the next thing is how to use them. Let's get into the fun part. So you can use these in so many different ways. So the most common, easiest way to use it is you just get your oil and you mix it with the carrier oil. So carrier oil is, it's an oil like olive oil, grapeseed oil, anything, um, shoot, canola oil, honey, anything that you're willing to put on your skin, right? Uh, vitamin E oil, mix it with a carrier oil. This carrier oil will hold the essential oil so that it'll be, you'll be able to put it on your skin without irritating it. Basically, it dilutes the essential oils. Remember I told you this oil is very, very potent. So you would only need, say you're using, I don't know, say you have this container and you put this whole container full of olive oil. You would only need about three or four drops of your essential oil for you to be able to smell the oil when you put it on your skin. Oh my gosh, it smells. Like, I love using it for that purpose, one. You can also mix it in, like with for all my girls that got natural hair, even if you don't have, well, if you got natural hair, curly hair, whatever, um, you can put it in your spray bottle. Anytime you spray your hair, spray your weave, whatever you spray, um, even with locks, I use them a lot with my locks to freshen up the smell of my locks, especially in the summertime um, or in between washes. You can take it, mix it in with the water, and it'll give it a nice scent to your water when you spray it in your hair. It smells so good, especially lemongrass. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you're gonna get anything, get you some lemongrass essential oil. It's, it goes a long way. You could get lemon, but lemongrass just have like a little sweetness behind it. The lemon is bright, but the lemongrass is bright and sweet, like a lemon drop. Oh, I love me some lemongrass, girl. But anywho, um, I would add that to my hair. You smell so good. People be like, girl, what is that? You smell good. All you gotta do is spray it on your hair, you know, or take the essential oil and put it, and put it in your carry oil and put it on your skin. It smells so good. Um, some people use it like as a deodorant. You can take the, like if you're in between, like say you wanna use now, you wanna detoxify from using um, like basic regular deodorant, but you still wanna smell like, you don't wanna smell funky. Um, when you come out the shower, you can mix, again, take your carrier oil, add in some tea tree oil, some lavender, something like that, put that under your arms. On days where you're not really doing too much, but you still wanna make sure you're not funky, you can do it for that. Um, you can use it for other reasons like tea tree oil is used, it's an antifungal. So you can put that like in your in your shampoo. Oh my goodness, I love putting essential oils in my shampoo. So some of these shampoos can be really expensive when they have like peppermint or essential or uh, tea tree in it. And you never know if they're actually using 
essential oils. They could just be using the the the, uh, the fragrance oil. So what you can do is get your own essential oils, get you some regular shampoo, regular conditioner, of course, get the quality that you want, a regular scent, and just add in your peppermint, add in your tea tree for yourself, and you'll get the same effects. You know, like that tingling scalp type of deal. And then also tea tree oil is used for, um, what do you call it, dandruff. And then the peppermint is used to stimulate your hair growth because it brings blood and oxygen to your scalp. So. That's a little tip for all my naturalistas out there, anybody that's interested in using oils um, for their hair. Um, another use that I really like to do is you take the oil and you just douse it on your um, shower curtain, the inside of your shower curtain that's in the actual shower, not the outside, but the inside that's gonna get hit by water. <clears throat> douse it on your shower curtain and the smell, as soon as you turn on that hot water, the steaminess of it, all of that will get into your nose, into your mouth, and down your throat. So it's really good to use if you're kind of like, you know, you got like a stuffy head and you're kind of like, uh, put some eucalyptus because eucalyptus is the same that we use for uh, Vicks Vapor Rub. Take it, throw it on your shower curtain, close the door, make, make it nice and steamy in there, take a nice shower, and you'll feel it like all up and down your throat and through your nose and like all, every, all over, you know, it's going to really help with that. Or if you just want to throw some lavender in there, you're going to take a shower before you go to bed, douse your shower curtain with lavender. It's going to make it real nice and calm and relaxing. I even take the essential oil and just take it and put it all over my bed before I lay down. It just smells so good. And throughout the night when you kind of wake up a little bit, you'll move your pillow, you move your sheets, and you just smell a lavender. And it's just like, it just, it just smells good. It's just beautiful, y'all. I love essential oil like nature just does so much for y'all it's just such a blessing you know to have nature it's such a blessing to be here on earth <laughs> i'm smelling all these oils oh it smells so good so um let's see there's so many different ways like i said i've been using these for over a decade um another way that my husband which we should probably get back to doing this we used to do it way back when we first got married and i don't know why we stopped using them but you take you a large bowl put hot water not too hot though essential oils burn really fast like you don't want to be able to tolerate putting your finger in it but you don't want it to be like boiling hot because it's going to burn off this essential oil too fast plus it's going to burn your face because i'm going to tell you what you're going to do get you some oil i mean get you a nice big bowl put your water in there you do want it like i said to be hot unbearable hot but not to the point where it's too too hot so Boiling, not roiling, boil, not the roll, roiling bowl, boil, girl, I can't even talk. Not, let me just drink my tea. Get it, put it in your bowl, put a few drops of eucalyptus in there. Eucalyptus is a very good oil to have too. At the end, I'm going to put, at the end of this video, I'll put a list of, um, or I'll talk about some oils you can start off with that I think are really good just to start off with. But anywho, put your eucalyptus, eucalyptus in there, get you a towel. Put your head over it. This is phenomenal for anybody who has sinus issues. Any type of stuffiness, sinus issues, it's like, gosh, you're having a headache. Put your head in there. Of course, don't put your face in the hot water. So you don't want it to be all the way at the top, just maybe halfway of hot water. Put the towel over it and just breathe. And you just have to breathe it in. Breathe it in. If it gets too hot, peek out a little bit. Put it back down and breathe all that in. Once again, the same thing with the shower curtain and the steam. It just goes right into there, open everything up for you. My husband used to use it when I say he has crazy freaking allergies. I'm going to see if he wants to try that again, actually, because I do have some eucalyptus now. Um, So do that. That's a really good way. You can also use rosemary, too. Rosemary is really good for concentration and memory and headaches. So you can use that if you're having a headache. Maybe before a test, in between studying, you can use that to help clear up your mind and get you back on track. Um, but it's going to help open up those nasal passageways. Nature is here to help us, y'all. It's here to help us. So that's another way to use it. Um, once again, like I said, the spray bottle should be used for your hair. You can do the same thing for your house. Spray it on your, um, like kind of like Febreze. Spray it throughout you know, your house just to give it a nice light scent. Nothing too crazy because sometimes... I don't like like those aerosol like to me it's just too artificial and it's just like I just don't like it I feel uncomfortable it's just too 
heavy, fragrancy, fruity, whatever. I don't like all that. I just want a light, natural scent, you know? So I like to spray that on my, you know, you can put it on your carpet, you can spray it on your couches, whatever, your bed, whatever, throughout the air. Just put your water there, put your essential oil, smells so good. Uh, if you have small children or pets and you don't want to use really harsh chemicals when you're cleaning, I like to put it in my actual um, mop bucket. So I'll put the hot water with vinegar and then put a few drops of lemongrass or just plain lemon essential oils in there. That's a good way to cleanse your floors, give it a nice fresh scent, and it's all natural. And you all, these will last you forever. Um, so invest in them okay that just a few drops go a long way because again this is essential oils that come straight from there so this is maybe like an unconventional way of using them this is more like a spiritual or metaphysical way of using essential oils a lot of people when they're doing like um altar work or candle work yeah that just happened i literally just put that on the wall i figured it was gonna fall i was like i should wait to put this up on this wall but I just wanted to put it up so I could be done with it and it fell anyway. But anywho, people can use this when they're doing metaphysical work. Um, so you can anoint, can anoint your candles with them. You can put them on your crystals. Um, of course, once again, add them to a carrier oil because you're gonna be putting your skin on it. You don't wanna irritate your skin. Um, I like to use certain oils when I'm meditating. I started using this, this is brand new. I've used this for like maybe two weeks. Cassia, I think that's how you pronounce it. C-A-S-S-I-A, -S -S Cassia oil. Yeah, it smells amazing. And for some reason, it just gives me a vibe. I've used that with frankincense. You know, frankincense and myrrh is like, that's biblical oils. So um, I use those two oils along with, I believe I mixed it with coconut oil. No, uh, olive oil. And I'll put it right on my third eye and I put it on my wrist when I meditate. And afterwards, after my meditation, of course, I keep the oil there. And then, like, I'll move or something, I'll smell it. And it'll just put me back into, like, a mindset of just relaxing and being, like, you know, in my zen mode. So, I love it. It smells so good, you all. Um, so, that's something you can use as well. Certain oils help with certain things, like I told you all. It's the same with crystals, the same with food, the same with different locations you're in, certain people you're around. Everything is about energy, right? So don't look at anything I'm saying as like, oh, you know, it's everything is energy here on earth. That's what it is. So, so yeah, those are the different ways you can use essential oils where you can buy them from and why you should use them. I totally feel like, like I love essential oils. Like I wouldn't know what I would do without them. Like I love them. You can use them for so many things. There's other things you can use them for too. Um, but those are just the, the basics of it. Also, you can the same way using the oils in your shampoo and your conditioners, put them in your lotions. If you got a plain lotion that you love that's unscented, add it in there. Add it to your shea butters. Add, add it to your coconut oils. Um, to the coconut, uh, the cocoa butter, whatever. It gives it a nice faint scent. Also, what you can do is when you're taking a nice warm bath, add some essential oils. Now, I did, this lady was talking about how when you add the essential oils, oil and water don't mix, right? So she said the, the essential oils kind of sit on the top of the water and they can still irritate your skin. For years, I've used it and haven't had any issues, but I guess I can kind of see where she's coming from with that. Um, so she said it's still best to add them to a carrier oil, then add it to your um, bath. Kind of like a bath oil, you know, which is pretty nice. I'm going to try that one day. So that's something to think about, something to try out. So if you're a skeptic, you all, I'm telling you, do not be. Aromatherapy is real. Just think about it. If certain smells you smell, you're like, oh, this reminds me of childhood. Or you'll smell something, you'll be like, wow, like, that's how my mom used to smell when I was younger, you know. What's, is that red door? You know, it just triggers certain things in our mind. And there are certain smells you smell, you're like, oh, that smells horrible. Like, oh my goodness, make you want to throw up. Certain smells you smell, you like, yeah, it's time to, it's bound chicka, wow, wow, you know. <laughs> Your man be smelling good and manly and brr, you be ready to jump on them. So it's certain smells that trigger certain things within us, I'm telling you. Certain stuff, you good. As soon as you start smelling food, you hungry, right? You not, you hadn't been hungry this whole time. As soon as you start smelling food, oh, I'm hungry now, but I'm ready to eat. You know, so smell is so important in how we um, navigate through life. So aromatherapy is real. 
So just want to add a little tip in there. Also know that you can mix your oils. So say you're doing something that you want to help, like I said, open your nasal passageway, you might want to mix eucalyptus with peppermint. Or uh, I like to mix lavender with clary sage. I love clary sage, it's one of my favorite oils. I told you all that I mix frankincense with sandalwood. That's a good one. Frankincense with this new one that I've been using, cassia, or yeah, I think it's what you can pronounce it, cassia. Um, you can mix lavender with cedarwood. And then there's some oils when you're mixing them, you'll smell, well, that's a whole other video, never mind. But you can mix them as well. So you, just have to, you don't have to just use one oil at a time. Um, but let's go over some common oils that you can try. I think you should all start off with. So first, definitely start off with lavender. Once again, it helps you to relax. We all need to relax, right? Like if you, um, if you work, if you got kids, if you living, if you breathing, you need to relax. So the next oil that I would say try out is peppermint. Peppermint is really good for memory. Um, as well as just think about it um, when people like one of those tips that people like to say is when you're studying chew on some gum or suck on a peppermint and it'll help you with your memory it also it just helps to sharpen the mind more more when you use peppermint as well as you can use it a lot in different um, like hair tonics and you can use it in shampoos and conditioners things like that for your hair oils for your hair to help stimulate oxygen flow to your scalp which will help to stimulate growth. Of course, you can use it with different oils and do a nice scalp massage. Oh, I used to do one of those. I used to do them a lot when I had my locks. A nice scalp massage, uh, scalp massage. Scalp massage with your peppermint. It's gonna be all nice and tingly and you're gonna be smelling good and your, your head, you're gonna feel like so awake. <laughs> but you can add peppermint um, with lavender as well to make a nice balance. The next oil I would say try out is tea tree oil because of its antifungal properties. So you can use them um, with your hair if you have dandruff. You can use it if you're having um, any type of anti like fungal issues like with your, your nails or something like that. Um, use it on your hair. You can put it in bad like foot soaks and you can use it in your, your shoes to help, you know, with any type of like fungus you got in your shoes, things like that, like athlete's foot and stuff. It helps with that. So just to start off with, you can just use those three. If you want to add to your repertoire, definitely get that lemongrass, like I said, because I love it for cleaning and for putting it in my hair and for spraying it around my house, spraying it on my furniture. It smells so good. I love lemongrass, y'all. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. So I would say, you know, start off with those three or four different scents and just find out what you like. Um, again, you can find them at different places, Whole Foods, shoot, Walmart probably sell them. I even freaking saw it at Ulta, like there's this whole thing you can buy from Ulta. Oh, something else I wanna show you all. Another way you can use essential oils to actually help with aromatherapy is putting it in an oil burner like this. You can get one of these from the dollar store too. Um, but you put you a tea light, you don't have to use a huge light, put a tea light at the bottom and take your oil, mix it with a, a carrier oil because if you just put the essential oil on there, it's gonna burn super quick. It's gonna smell very fragrant, but it's gonna burn super quick and you're not gonna have a lot of oil. So um, put just a small amount of, uh, maybe like half a tablespoon of a carrier oil, meaning olive oil, um, coconut oil if you want to use that olive oil coconut oil grape seed whatever use that oil and then add about three drops of your essential oil light your candle give it a minute to see if it uh, throws off a scent if it doesn't throw off a scent add a little bit of a little bit more of your drops of oil and see if that helps to help you to create a scent I really like it for that but you could use your fragrance oil so remember I told you about this jasmine oil the scented oil I use this straight out of the bottle. I don't add any type of carrier oil and it's, it smells, the whole house smells so good when you add it in there. Um, because like I said, this is way more fragrant um, than the actual essential oil. So just keep that in mind. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really uh, like bringing you all new content. I'm sorry if I look super tired. Y'all know I'm a mother of two. I am sorry, y'all. <laughs> It's only 9.48 and I'm like dead tired. <laughs> but I love you all. I enjoy doing these type of videos. So let me know if you're interested in seeing more, what you want to see. I just want to share like what I'm into. 
you know what I'm interested in and if you like it you like it if not you know I have plenty of different things on this channel and then I also have another channel for anyone who's interested in becoming a nurse and also people who are in nursing school I give you tips for that as well so go check out my second channel your fave nurse B thank you all for watching consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram thank you all for watching peace y'all yeah, I'm tired